this is what we what we check if it's, uh, if it's okay. That works. Thanks. Yep. Look around you. Make sure you look up. There could be a lot of jumpers in the air, right? We're jumping in 100 plus jumpers today, and so you know there could be 80 jumpers in the air at the same time. It should be a great experience to be out there jumping with all those jumpers. So, Standard mass tack rules apply. That's the most important thing, is keep a sharp lookout through your entire set and avoid jumpers. Today we're at the 75th anniversary of D-Day, and we're gonna conduct a free fall jump of Army Ranger Gold Star Mother, Scotty DeMay, the mom of Sergeant First Class, Chris DeMay. The, the check-in is the rally point, huh? Could you bear with announce? Okay. Normally there is, we have some mom sitting there with two yeah, 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 yeah. and she picks off people. Right now we're in uh, we're at the Cherbourg Airport, we're waiting for six C-47s, so vintage World War II aircraft to show up. Uh, they're going to run nine chocks today, we're on chalk eight, and we're going to start lifting out of here. We're going to land in Carrington Airfield about an hour south of here by drive, so about 40, 50 kilometers south of here, and a nice big farm field just like they did 75 years ago. The uniform du jour is the, uh, is the standard Army infantry uniform from World War II for the U.S. Army Rangers. So we have cotton and wool pants, cotton and wool shirt, cotton and wool jacket. We've got the suede the Army boots with the leggings on it. So you're, uh, this has really made me believe that our grandfathers are much harder than us. And they fought all the way across North Africa, Europe, in cotton and wool. And they did it willingly. So it's a really cool uniform, it's, it's fun, it's comfortable, it's something I've always wanted to wear, and it's, uh, it's just rad. My son is Sergeant First Class Christopher Domey. He was killed on his 14th deployment, and he's the most deployed soldier in American history to be killed in action. Last August, I was at Fort Benning at the Army Ranger Hall of Fame, and all the Rangers were ta saying they were going to the 75th, and I thought, I want to go, I want to go. And then about a month later, I saw Matthew Griffin on his Facebook page that he was jumping and I just messaged him and said, do you know my son? And would it be possible for me to jump with Rangers to honor my son? A month after Christopher was killed, I went to my first Gold Star meeting and they told me, your address book will change. And it did. And I just feel very honored to be a part of this community. So it's like my whole life trajectory changed. So now I'm part of a community I never knew anything about. jump for me as it is for almost everybody here. If it's not, I don't know what they're thinking. Um, I'm jumping an original uh, 506 helmet. Uh, World War II, 75 years of it. This helmet came back to its, uh, its rightful place and uh, experienced it yet again, but without shooting going on. Well, it was great. First of all, you're on a departure airfield with like more C-47 vintage aircraft than have ever been assembled since World War II. So it's pretty cool to like look across and see all these radial engine planes, everybody in their historic uniforms, and I mean, it, it's amazing. And then you take off, you go over the channel and come in at the same altitude, same you know pattern, same flight path, and uh, I mean, it's amazing. And to jump on the anniversary, I mean, 75th, uh, this is fabulous. Yeah. A friendly sergeant gave us a bunch of cotton and cigarettes, you know, cigarettes were gold. Yeah, you could and trade them for anything. He said, you can leave for two packs of cigarettes. Exactly. <laughs> I feel pretty awesome. I just had a free fall from 4,000 feet from a, a C-47, Betty's Biscuit Bomber. It yeah. was great. How was, yeah, describe it. So uh, I was the um, jump master in safety on uh, two other passes for the static line drops. So we put 23 guys out of the second lift and uh, 
about 15 guys out of the first lift. And then uh, I got to go up to 4,000 feet and skydive. So it was great. I, I can't process it. It's far more than I imagined. I thought it would just be another jump and maybe some people showing up to look. It's, it's beyond anything I imagined. What happened on your arm there? Uh, I caught a riser on the way out of the plane, a little bit of a spin, and I'm an old guy, so I break easy. I left some blood on the field. There you go. No big deal. I'm standing here. I thought it was going to be scary. I just want to make sure I get on a ride to the chateau. When, because we were stepping out. You know. But when you shoved me out, it was like it was wonderful. Well, let me tell you how it is. You couldn't figure out whether you were scared or you really liked that young man holding on to your body. <laughs> Once you guys got up in the air, what, did, you know, any jitters, any nervousness, or anything like that? As I was standing there looking at the ground, I'm thinking, should I close my eyes? And then we just stepped out, and it was wonderful. It really wasn't bad at all. Bringing Scott here is, is something quite special. I, mean, I knew her son who served with him, and he was quite a, an amazing human being. And she was a single mom, raised him, and didn't really know what he gave his life for. And after he passed, she, she started being involved in the ranger community and this is one of those things where we hope to provide some closure to her and some solace to her as to the type of things that he did in the community that he was surrounded by and how he, he gave his life um, and love is something that he really cared for. And as a Gold Star mother and, and, and your, your background of, that brought you all into this, you know, what does this mean for you? Well, I wanted to jump to honor my son, but I also wanted to jump. You got jump? You got jump? Sorry. To honor all the moms whose children died in this ground. Because in that first two months, what, 450,000 people were killed. And I just think of how much emotional pain and how many families were affected by that. So to be able to jump in, not only to honor Christopher, but to respect those who gave their lives for freedom against pure evil. And it changes the trajectory of world history. Jumping from 6,500 feet today. Hopefully, give the crowd a little bit of a show what it's like to do a military free fall operation. Uh, obviously, that wasn't a technique in use during World War II, uh, but we're going to get out at 6,500 feet uh, above the ground, uh, pull at 4,500 feet, and then come in over Iron Mike drop zone uh, to land in front of the crowd. It should be should be a really neat event, uh, and hopefully, a great opportunity to showcase some of our, our capabilities today.
got off the flight with the C-130. Uh, we dropped three passes of free fall jumpers. Everything went pretty good. And on the way back, we went low, 100 feet off the water, and saw Omaha Beach, Point de Hawk. It was absolutely sunny. This Air Force crew is just on a different level, and uh, I was really lucky to be out there with them today.